Louis Pasteur is possibly better known for the development of the technique of pasteurization in which we can treat substances like milk and kill the contaminating microorganisms within it. He's also famous for uh, a theory called germ theory in which he proved that microorganisms are in the air around us and indeed could themselves be disease causing organisms. But here we are looking at a different piece of work in which he developed the concept of the vaccine. And he did this through the study of two animal diseases, not human diseases. The first disease is chicken cholera, obviously in chickens, and the second disease is anthrax, which is a disease common of cows, sheep and pigs on farms. Each of the diseases is caused by a bacteria. Pasteurella, multicida is the one causing chicken cholera and bacillus anthraxis is the one causing anthrax. What Pasteur did was to take the bacterium here and expose it to high levels of oxygen. This created a very weak version of this bacterium, so weak that when it was injected into the chicken, the chicken did not develop the disease or just developed a mild version of the disease. When the chicken was then injected with the strong version of the bacterium, it did not become ill. And the reason is that with the mild, weakened bacteria, the chicken had developed antibodies which would protect it against the strong version and we would say that the chicken had become immune. In a similar experiment, Pasteur used potassium dichromate and in fact heat to weaken the bacillus anthraxis so that when injected into pigs, this did not cause the disease, or at least only made a mild version of the disease. At this time, the pig's immune system produced antibodies. And so when exposed to the strong form of anthrax, the pig survived and did not develop the disease. We would say it had become immune. Pasteur decided that he would call the weakened form of the bacterium, which is called attenuation, he would call the idea of injecting dead or weak versions of the, of the disease-causing organism, of the pathogen, he would call this technique vaccination and that they were vaccines. This was in honour of Edward Jenner, who had developed another technique using a related organism called cowpox to protect against smallpox. The difference between Pasteur's vaccination and Jenner's technique is that Pasteur is using the same pathogen, but the pathogen has been weakened or attenuated, as we say. Jenner, on the other hand, was using a related pathogen, not the one which actually causes smallpox. Pasteur's contribution has led to the modern methods of the creation of vaccines, which still includes the technique of attenuation and the weakening of the pathogen.